Hi everyone, wanted to do a video tutorial for you today on my little crisscross box here that I'm using to hold um, a set of little note cards that I made with the Patterned Occasions stamp set that's available during Celebration, which kicks off really soon, the 22nd of January. I can't show you the stamp set yet until Celebration hits, but I can show you my cards. They are also on my blog. So I've made a set of little um, five note cards featuring one um, of each of the stamps in that little set. And I've also teamed it with the Sycamore Street um, DSP which is fabulous and then the colours that I've coordinated with the Island Indigo, Tangerine Tango, Pool Party and Ra uh, Rich Razzleberry are all part of that paper. So there's a little um, happy birthday cupcake one and a matching envelope. Done a little whole latte love um, with a little coffee cup on it and some beautiful doily um, print down the side, embossing down the side and an envelope and my little recover rapidly one. I thought it was so funny when I, I did this one, I did a bit of a tear and put the bandaid across it. My daughter thought it was quite goofy but I liked it. Um, so that's my recover rapidly one and I put the little bandaid on the back of the envelope for that one. And congratulations smarty pants and the little embossing that I've done in the background there, I've done that on the um, back flap of the envelope of that one. And my little cute elephant, the thanks a ton. This ribbon is also part of the stuff that you can get for free during celebration. And then I've just embossed the back of the little um, envelope for the elephant. So to pop them all in, they're all three by three um, note cards. I just wanted a little tiny um, quick box um, to put them all in. And this is super simple. You'll be amazed once I show you how easy it is to make. All you're going to need, guys, is a piece of cardstock that measures four inches by 11 and three quarters. Now, for us in Oz, you get two um, crisscross boxes out of one piece of A4 cardstock. Got to love that. Um, and you'll have about, a, I think it's a quarter of an inch strip left over. So you're going to paste your 4 by 11 and 3 quarter inch strip of cardstock. I use Sahara Sand for my box too, but you can use whatever colour you like. Um, into your score tray and you're just going to make a couple of score lines. They are going to be at 3 and a quarter inches, 4 and a quarter inches, 7 and a half inches, and last one at 8 and a half inches. And that's across the long side. We're going to turn it and do one big long score line at 1 inch. And that's it as far as the scoring for the box goes. I know, pretty simple. Okay, then all we're going to do is we're going to um, take a pencil and a ruler, which mine's gone just out of reach. Okay, I've got it. And we're going to um, put a couple of tick marks on the panels. Now I'll zoom in so that you can see where I'm putting these. So I'm not sure how well you can see. Whoops, a bit blurry. But we've got these two score lines sort of close to this end here. Um, this first score line is where we're going to start measuring from and I picked up a pencil that has no lead. Okay, so <laughs> let me get another pencil. Here we are. Okay, and so we're going to measure in from that score line there a half inch and we're going to put a little tick mark at a half an inch and then what we're going to do is we're going to move down to the, to the bottom um, score line, that big long one inch one that we put down. Oh, it's having trouble focusing. Let me go a bit wider for you so you can see. So the bottom score line here, and we're going to measure up a half an inch. So not many measurements to remember. Really? Half an inch and half an inch. So you're going to repeat that on the um, other pan panel on the other end. So I'm just going to slide it all the way to the other end, to this last panel here. Do the same thing from the very first score line here. I'm going to measure half an inch, and then I'm going to measure up half an inch on the side. I'll show you what I'm doing. Up and a half an inch on the side there. And then basically all you're going to do is you're either going to do one or two things. You're going to put it in a cutter and you're going to cut along this line here from those two points and you're also going to cut along these two points on the opposite end or you're going to take a pair of scissors and do this do the cutting. So if you're a great hand cutter go ahead and, and do that. Um, me not so great of a hand cutter so just going to get my um, trimmer, gosh should have been organised this morning, um, and pop this in the trimmer, uh, lining up the um, pencil line with the groove in the, in the tray here. We could just line up your um, two little pencil marks there, and I'm just going to trim off those edges. So one. Too, like that. Easy. Okay, a couple more cuts that we do have to make 
by hand guys so just grab your scissors and I'll show you which ones you need to do you need to actually just cut up along all four of these little tiny tab marks on the bottom of your box one two three four like that and then what I like to do you could leave it at that but what I like to do um, is I like to do the um, little bit of an angle on these little tiny tabs here in the corner. Yeah, there we are, got some focus now. So I just like to come back in and just trim off a little bit um, from those little tabs. I just find it makes boxes, anytime I do boxes I do that. Anyone that's watched my tutorials will know that that's what I do, just to make it fit a bit neater. So just taking off those little trims. You don't have to guys, but that's what I find just works nicer. Okay, so then the last cut that you need to make, guys, is on this left-hand panel. You'll need to come along here, and along that score line, you're going to want to trim off that last um, whole entire panel, like that. Okay, so what you end up with is um, a piece that looks like this. The left-hand um, panel tab is missing from here, and you've got two smaller tabs and two longer tabs. This um, is your back panel so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you've scored along all of the um, upright score lines and then you want to make sure that you fold all the tabs up at the bottom and give them a good press down. So this is what you've got left. This is your back panel. You have the back panel that folds um, inwards and you put. I put my tabs underneath at the back and then when I fold my left hand side across first, the last panel I fold across is the right hand side, which goes over the top of there and covers those tabs on the bottom. So I recommend with your box that you use double sided tape to put it together, but I'm gonna use snail for the purposes of the video just so it's a little bit faster. Um, but everywhere I'm putting the snail, um, substitute that for double sided tape just so your box lasts a little bit longer. So what I'm gonna do is put a bit of snail on these two little tabs here and here. And then with that, um, bottom of the back piece folded up to the inside I just fold my um, sides in nice and square so that tab goes there and that tab goes there so you can see that I've just folded it up so the sides look like that so that's the base of the box this little um, panel without any um, bottom tab on it is the inside panel I don't know I just fold my right over my left if you wanted to do it in the reverse you could but just make sure that whatever panel goes underneath you remove that bottom tab from but ours is going to be this one on this side now I'm going to put a bit of um, snail on there and on the bottom here so let me just show you I've put a triangle of snail down there and some on this this um, bottom panel that goes under the bottom of the box so folding my left hand in side in first so you're just going to then fold the front flap across um, your box and make sure that that front panel matches up to that side edge there. What I'm trying to line up guys show you is that front little edge there. Give it a good squeeze down through there. Now you'll have double sided tape on there so that'll hold it nice and straight and good. So you just want that front panel to line up on the side. Then turn it to the bottom and put that bottom panel down so it gives you a nice panel on the bottom and then if you look on the inside you don't see any of those yucky tabs because you've put you've hidden them between those two longer layers there and basically that's it your box is done quite easy and now all I did for mine look that's going to pop off because I've used snail so use double sided tape don't use snail um, all I've done for mine is I've cut some um, designer series paper uh, and you can do it whatever width you want. Mine's one and a half inches, and then I've got a little tiny strip of one inch white cardstock that wraps around as well. Just um, threaded some of the um, celebration ribbon that we get through some buttons and tied them at the front. So I've joined my little belly band at the back, but the ribbon just comes up and through the buttons, and I've knotted them up. But you can decorate your little box any way you like, and that size fits perfectly our three by three note cards and envelopes, which is important. All right, guys, I hope you really enjoy that one and um, have fun making it. Thank you.